Okay, so this video is day semen retention day 282, take two. The second time I'm doing this. What is the truth? Okay, so my mom has been like the best mom ever that I could think of, but somewhere underneath it all, I see like evil. I don't know if she's possessed, if she's scared, uh, if she's evil. I don't know what it is, but something underneath all the motherly things, I see it. I see it there. And it comes out every day when we talk, you know. If I need something, if I need money, if I need a place to stay, um, if I need to talk to anybody, if I need help with anything, my mom's always there. She's always there. Like, mom of the year or whatever. But then when we talk, like, she somehow, after I'm done, while I'm talking to her, like, she puts me in a really negative frame. I don't know if it's me or if it's her. I have no idea, but I'm blaming it on her. I think she's, like, evil or possessed underneath everything. Because sometimes I'll tell her, like, stuff I want to do or whatever, and she'll find things that always tell me to, like, not do it, you know? Or if I'm really excited about something, she'll, like, find ways to get me not excited about the things I want to do. Sometimes she'll do it by telling me sad stories about other people or, like, how other people are more successful or how other people are living better. And, you know, I'm in the moment. I'm in the moment telling her, like, oh, mom, like, look at what I'm going to do or whatever. I mean, they're not big things. They're, like, little things, right? But she'll find a way to put me in a bad mood, you know? And I think this is like evil, but I don't know. She'll also say a lot of, she'll talk like this. Like, well, drama, if you don't do this, this is gonna happen to you. And she'll say something bad. And I'm like, mom, I wasn't gonna do that. And now like, you're, you know, it looks like you're cursing me. If I don't do this, this is gonna happen. And then she'll be like, no, I'm just talking, whatever. I don't care. We're just talking. Words are nothing. And I'm like, no, mom, words are powerful. Be careful with your words. And every day, the same thing. She'll be like, well, Geronimo, if you don't do this, something bad's going to happen to you. And I'm like, mom, don't tell me that. And then today, like, you know, like there's a new like monkey pox or whatever. She's like, oh, people are going to start touching door handles and we're going to touch the door handles and we're going to get monkey pox. And I'm like, mom, don't say that. If we get it, whatever. I don't care. But don't be saying that. She'll say stuff like that. And it makes me think of her as being like evil. Even though on the surface and everything she does is good. But I've talked to her every single day. So I'm starting to notice these patterns. And I'm trying to get her to stop. And she won't stop. And I, I've even tried to stop talking to her. But when we get back to talking, she'll go back to the same thing. Like, one bringing my hopes and dreams down to saying stuff that sounds like spells or curse, curses to me and then three like telling me like either about other people's successes or like really bad stuff about other people like oh this person like he has this disease or this person's sign like everything is like negative that comes out of her mouth and like, it's every single day. I talk to her every single day because I love her and she's my mom. But then, like, she's super negative, like, all the time, all the time. And then I view that as being possessed or evil, but I don't know. You can let me know what you think. All right. The next thing I want to talk about is what is the truth? So I pretty much told her, like, I stopped talking to her for a couple of days because I was, like, mad at her because... She doesn't stop being like negative. And you know, I want to talk to her. Like I enjoy talking to her. Like she's the only one that listens to my like things besides the people on YouTube a little bit. 
but but she just doesn't she thinks like I'm like the devil or I'm wrong or she thinks like oh you're my son you can't tell me anything like that's like her attitude kind of and then t- today well the other day I came I, I didn't talk to her for the whole day and I was thinking like how can I change my mom and then I thought marijuana marijuana is how I'm going to do it I'm going to get her to smoke weed or eat weed and then she's going to look at the she's going to view the world differently and change right that's what I was thinking so today I was like mom do you want to do marijuana she's like nope I'm against it you're the devil she didn't say it that way but that's pretty much what she meant you're the devil you're possessed whatever you just want me to sin or whatever and uh, I told her like mom religion isn't like God or whatever because she's been like real religious the last I don't know the last half a year she's been going to church going online and looking at church stuff and I was like mom church isn't like real real uh, God stuff like God stuff is like your own personal attachment to God and then like what kind of person you are what your heart is and your soul or whatever and she's like no I want to learn about Jesus I was like if you want to learn about Jesus that's fine but that's not God you know learning about Jesus or whatever is not in my book it's not God like maybe maybe it's God's son or whatever but to me like God is like God or whatever so I don't need to know like stories about the past to be like religious <clears throat> and I view people as, with religion usually as dumb but some people need it and then some people use it to their advantage like they'll pray you know for stuff to go good in their life or whatever but they're not really like religious or whatever they're just out for themselves or also some people need it in their lives maybe they've done a lot of bad things and they need you know some sort of support some sort of help or whatever so they'll use it or you know somebody gets a disease or something bad happens and they'll use prayer you know to get out of it or whatever like all that stuff is fine like if you use it for your benefit that's good but i I don't relate it to like god that much god is just me and god i am the best person that i can be and then God is supposed to like be able to see that and recognize that and take me into heaven or if there's no heaven at least like help me out in this world or whatever right so um, alright so what is the truth and all this of course is just my thoughts and I don't really know what the truth is but I was trying to get my mom to smoke weed to find out the truth Because I don't want her to die and, you know, live a lie most of her life. I was like, you're going to cry for a couple hours once you see the truth, you know. And she doesn't want to do it. She doesn't want to smoke weed. But I just, it hurts me because she's my mom. And I want her, you know, I come to this earth to find the truth, to find, like, you know, to, to know what's, like, really going on or whatever. That's why I'm here. And for someone just to, like, go their whole world without, like, searching for the truth or for uh, or for God, the real God, I mean, is, like, to me it's bad or dumb or whatever. So what is the truth? Okay, so to me, the truth is, which is what I'm doing, like... Being all that you can be, getting as much money as you can, helping as much people as you can, creating as much energy as you can, creating as much, I don't want to say life as in, as in people, but creating as much, you know, turning this world, you know, really good, making this world the best you can, getting a lot of money, conquering being the best you can be, being an athlete, being a a hero, a superstar, just like uh, being an incredible person. That's the truth. That's why we're here. But in front of everything, in front of all those things, in front of money, in front of courage, in front of uh, 
being the best you can be in front of everything, even in front of God, is being a good person. Is it bad to have money? Not if you're a good person, because you're going to do good with it. Is it bad to be uh, trained to be the best fighter in the world? Not if you're a good person, because you're not going to hurt people. Is it bad to have the most money in the world? Not if you're a good person, because you're going to help people. So put being a good person in front of everything. Like, yes, there's suffering in this earth. Yes, there's happiness. But put good in front of everything. That is the truth in life. Put good in front of everything. Relationships. I was divorced. Whatever. You know, I wish I would have done more for myself. I would have uh, become, made more money. You know, you know, did treated myself better, liked myself better, dedicated a lot of time to myself. I wish I would have done all that stuff. But putting a putting goodness in front of everything I do, you know, whether I broke up or stayed in the relationship, whether my partner was a good person or a bad person. Like, all that stuff, it shouldn't have mattered. It should only matter what I did for myself and putting being a good person in front of me trying to become a better person and, you know, in my relationship. I don't know, something like that. Thank you.